Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we're going to be blasting Church of Disgust, Veneration of Filth, Sunken Tomb Records. Actually, still have copies of the LP available. So, I don't know how that happened because this is definitely one of the best maggot stomp releases but sunken tomb records also helped put this out and sunken tomb stumbled upon 30 copies of the black vinyl seriously i can't recommend this record enough killer texan death metal now on hell's headbangers awesome fucking stuff and you can grab this from Sunken Tomb Records Bandcamp on vinyl. So, seriously, don't sleep on this, because once this is gone, I think this is going to be gone forever. Like, or you're going to pay Discog prices. Like, go on Sunken Tomb Records. They have good prices to begin with and some awesome releases coming out. If you have some money to spare... I can't recommend Veneration of Filth enough, but I want to talk about this Swedish classic, Ecstasy and Pain by Chronic Decay. And I saw that they put out a new record last year, which I thought was strange. I thought they had split up. I don't know if it's a compilation. I didn't really look into it. I just saw that, you know... They put out something new. Although I know that one of the members is deceased. But Chronic Decay, for a long time, and you have to thank Jesus at MSUO, this was buried under the influx of Swedish death metal in the 90s. This came out in 1990, and although it is a death metal record, it's speedy thrash metal. I would almost say, like, proto-death metal, but those death metal elements are there, but, like, this is some speedy fucking thrash. And coming from Sweden, you know, this really got lost in the shuffle, because it's great. Like, it's not crushing, like, you know, if you listen to the Grave demos when they were corpse, it's, like, fucking ridiculous. And same with, like, Crematory, but Nihilist also, that's kind of obvious, though, because Nihilist became entombed, but Chronic Decay got lost in that shuffle, and... When it came to the early Scandinavian death metal scene, I I think it might have been because Chronic Decay had more of a thrash sound to it that maybe it got lumped in with thrash metal, although this is, like I said, just thrashing death metal. And I love the fucking cover art. I, I love all Chronic Decay's like art that I've seen. Like, I saw the one t-shirt design. It, it's a classic. But this recording right here, Ecstasy and Pain, the fact that copies of this 7-inch still exist boggles my fucking mind. Like, don't sleep on this, for real. And this is a plain black 7-inch. And I just think it's awesome that MSUO put this bad boy out. Like, I think that's fucking cool as shit. And it's all, like, in Swedish. Like, Ecstasy and Pain is E-X-T-A-S-Y. First of September is one dot dot S-T of September. Sound Fix by Stefan Dalström. I guess that means mastered. And then dark before dawn.
but there, ecstasy spelled regular. First of September. And this is just so fucking good. I'm very curious as to what happens if you call this number. But, um, just a killer ancient slab of Swedish thrashing death metal. And I just fucking love this release, and I wanted to just go over it with you, ladies and gentlemen. There's not too much to say, because it's pretty straightforward, like, it's just right to the fucking point. Kind of, you know, as much as I say it, it's all killer, no filler, three songs of ancient Swedish thrashing death metal. And I'll throw this on for you real quick so you can hear it, but Church of Disgust, really quick. Sunken Tomb Records. They still have copies available. So good. I definitely just fell onto my turntable. <laughs> I know you heard it skip. I hit my chest like right on it. Ow. That was stupid. But let's put this bad boy on. Sorry. This is what sucks about not being able to edit. Like, I really need to fix this shit, because this, it's unprofessional, but in reality, it really is. Like, this is inexcusable. Aw, oh, come on. I'm guessing 45 RPMs. If I'm wrong, I apologize. See, I gotta clean this, too. I have to thank my buddy in Canada for sending this my way. I'll drop my buddy's name after I go over a certain cassette he sent over because I think it's badass. And it's something I wanted to do but I couldn't afford the shipping. But. Here we go. Chronic Decay. This is Ecstasy in Pain. Hopefully I have it on the right speed. Please be on the right speed. That's what I mean. It's it's super thrashy and I love that shit. I would take this over, like, HM2 Worship any day. Like, one of my favorite Swedish death metal records is Gormant, The Ending Quest.
don't get me wrong, I love Left Hand Path, the Crawl EP, but like, you can't go wrong with some more obscure stuff like this. Like that's almost got like a morbid angel like tremolo in the back. Then some thrash. Speed. Such a sick release, like, seriously. Fuck yeah. Ecstasy and Pain by Chronic Decay. And, uh, yeah. MSUO. Sounds like we have a locked groove. <laughs> but it's all gravy. <laughs> this fucking thing. Oh, I see. But, Chronic Decay, Ecstasy in Pain, awesome fucking 7 inch. Buddy of mine sent this over from Vancouver, Canada. And like I was saying, this is one of those MSUO releases. I don't know how it's still not sold out, but it's not sold out. And if you're a fan of thrashing death metal with a little bit of Swedish in it, although it's from Sweden, there's just a little, like, there's tiny hints of what was to come a couple years down the road with, you know, the massive influx of Swedish death metal coming into the States. This is on the opposite end of the spectrum, and I really fucking dig this shit. And you have Gunnar Norgen on bass, Jock Hamar on guitar and vocals. Mickey Carlson on drums, and Mickey Strostand on guitar. Thanks to Smirnoff, Tuborg, and all speed and thrash bands in the world. And a very big thanks to our lives for all hate feelings. That's strange, but... Chronic Decay, Ecstasy and Pain, killer fucking 7-inch. Highly, highly recommended. If you're grabbing a copy of the live Winda Gang or anything from MSUO, I would grab this as well. It's definitely worth it. It's worth your time. It's a classic 7-inch, and I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy it. But if not, I apologize. But like I was saying, and we were blasting... Church of Disgust, Veneration of Filth, full-length Texan death metal awesomeness. One of my favorite putrid covers, but only a few copies available on vinyl through Sunken Tomb Records, who fucking rule to begin with. So don't sleep on that and... This has already been slept on. Don't sleep on it anymore. Help Jesus sell out of this bad boy. Chronic Decay, Ecstasy and Pain, 1990 Swedish Death Thrash. But, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Thanks to my friend in Canada. I will reveal your name in the future. Thank you to Vathar again for the Sick Realms merch. Stuff is bad ass, and it's very comfortable. So that's always a plus. 
I found my dreadlock beanie, so my hair is going to be a fucking shit show soon, which is always good. But, um, yeah. As always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Who's?